here we go. If it isn't everyone's favorite time in the game, we have a brand new unit and thank God we actually have a half decent banner. We do of course have the Festian having her first return since her actual release banner, which is so damn good. I've been waiting for her for so long and I can finally go ahead and 660 now, even if we don't get any copies in this video, I have enough Hesquay saved up to actually get that one done. But I mean, there are still some questionable picks. Of course, Green Escanor is pretty much in every banner. I know there's quite a few people that don't have the Red Summer Liz, which is very good. Summer Melon is a great unit alongside the Megelba. Green Sariel, obviously a really good pick. I'm a really big fan of Skadi as well. She works fairly good in majority of, if not all of the Demonic Beast battles. And in PvP, there are some fun giant teams you can use with her, with the SR Liz in the back. Yormungandr is insane, especially with her new Holy Relic. She is impossibly good even better that i would say than the Megelda in bird which is crazy to think and then of course we have here two of the biggest pulls of the banner the red tarmiel and the freya now i mean i'm sure a whole lot of people don't have the captain meliodas either but he's by far the worst unit on the banner the tarmiel only have two six so i would love to get some copies of him and the freya have five six so we end up pulling at least one copy of freya that would be absolutely amazing because the death percentages from 5-6 to 6-6, six, six, it's only 70% on 5-6 and jumps all the way to 100%, which is an extra 30 just for one alt level. So kind of a mistake not going for the 6-6 six, six on his first banner, but ended up going three rotations and only getting him 5-6 anyways. So at that point, I'd already spent enough money and for a unit that they kind of forced us to 6-6 six, six to be able to complete the content, uh, Skull and Hardy, I don't know, I just, I wasn't very happy that Netmarble did that, so I didn't want to spend even more money than I already had to. Is this first, you know, I think it might be. No, it's gonna be right at the end, goddamn. I mean, it's been a hot minute. I don't think in my entire career of doing YouTube have I gotten a one done, but that is exactly what we wanted. Oh my God. I mean, since we're guaranteed the melon, I will 100% Take time, he'll start it off strong. I recently watched Amazing's video as well. Bro got 3 6 Merlin in one rotation. If we could walk away with a 3 6, that would be so goddamn perfect. But save us going for a crazy amount of dupes in any later summons. It's Tide Clash, but um, yeah, gonna skip it. Majority, if not all of those, will be. Although, there's definitely a chance of still getting an SSL. It's too low. We'll, we'll go ahead and skip those. We've got quite a few summons to get through in today's video. Wow, getting all of the SSLs, by the way. Jesus, but if you guys are summoning on this banner, do of course let me know how the summons went. Do hope they go even better than mine. Still, please, please can we get some good luck on this one? Because, I mean, I just got done finishing summoning on Dokkan. I play, I have the global account, and we just had the new GT Pan release, and literally one and done that unit. First unit of the summon as well, and it just goes to show when I summon on this game, luck isn't the greatest thing in the world. Can we get a double? No, okay. Is that in the same spot as last time? I think it is. Hey, if we could get another time yield, though, that would be great. We'd probably honestly take the time yield dupes more than Merlin, because having that man 6-6 six, six in association is so broken. Another time yield? Ozon Hawk. And then there's units like this that are obviously going to shaft our banner. I mean, I'm just glad they went ahead and put some good units on the banner, because it is very net marble like to go ahead and completely fill a banner with the Queen Shop and Year One garbage. Who knows why they do it? They've released so many good units and so many cool units. I understand not all units are meant to be on all banners. Obviously, characters like Sigurd, all that kind of stuff, you want to have on their own respective banners, being the Ragnarok, Seven Catastrophes, all that kind of stuff. So that makes sense. But we still have both Freya and Jormungandr on this banner. So it's not like they can't go ahead and do it. I also understand them not wanting to have every banner be insanely, insanely good. However, they do obviously do the thing where, oh, look, this banner's God awful, let's just go ahead and put Halloween Gother on it. Just to incentivize summoning just that little bit more, because there are going to be people that fall for that kind of stuff. And I mean, I was going to summon on the Melon regardless. I think she's a very interesting unit, and I'm a super, super big fan of the Unknown team. Definitely one of my favorite teams in the game. Rimuru, Echidna, all such good characters. The Lolly Merlin as well. And now we have this new Merlin. We have so many. And even on this banner as well, I think we have, what, four Merlins at this point? We have the new one, we have Truth Seeker, Lolly Merlin, and I think I saw the green Merlin, not the Queen Shop one, but the other green Merlin. Oh my god. Here we go, getting all the animations on this one. I mean, honestly, the SSR rates have not been too bad, so hey, I ain't complaining. We get a triple SSR though, that would be that would be great. And I don't believe we have any new animations with this download celebration either. I mean, I am praying surely for four years is we get some new animations because that's the longest I'm going to accept. It has been years since we've had any new ones. 
the most recent one I think we got on Global was Lost Vein. I think the Eskinal one is a little bit older than Lost Vein. Song. God damn, but yeah, I feel like one of the ones I'd be liking most is a animation that guarantees us the new unit. I feel like that'd be so hype, whether it's on the pull down or part of the actual animation. Let's see here. Here we go. A double melon would also be crazy. Come on, new melon. We had to go ahead. We had to go ahead and at least get him once. I mean, we're also accepting first of all the ends if you want to give us that. The hijack go through and lolly melon. We both have plenty of dupes in the two of those. Getting through here, but I mean, other than the characters I've got on the banner, I don't think there's a whole lot of regular pool characters that a lot of people have won in. Because covering all the demonic beast battle characters like Miguelda, Freya, and Normaganda, they're some of the biggest characters to go ahead and pull for. Tarmiel and the other archangels, however, characters like Margaret. Blue Tarmiel, Red Sariel, have been on so many banners at this point, so most people have a lot of dupes in them. I do think they've done really good on this banner, however, actually lowering the amount. Yo, let's go. These are actually going so goddamn good. That animation as well, man. Jiggle Physics goes so hard on DM. But yeah, just lowering the SSR pool for the, like, just getting rid of all the bad ones would be really, really nice. It should be so much more hype getting SSRs at that point, because you know you're in for something good. Still no copies of Freya. I can 100% go without it getting a copy of Freya in this one. I think everyone else on the banner is almost 6-6. Six, six. It's really just those super new characters like Captain Maliotis, who I unfortunately someone for to make videos with. What, we got like three showcases out of him, so I suppose it was worth it. Damn, these last couple haven't been too hot. You can always use all this kind of stuff for Super Awakening. Please, New Merlin, although I'd really like to see the animation throughout the video. Duper Scardi. I believe we already have Scardi 6-6. Six, six. No Holy Relic yet. I. I don't know, I was talking before about how I, well, how everyone was pretty much forced to 6-6 six, six Freya in order to do the new content, and even though I do have him 5-6 and have the team fairly built out, that content is just so RNG, man. I'd much rather spend my time doing something else. I hate the fact that you can go, what, three hours? I suppose now that we have the new, the new toner, it is a little less or a lot less RNG dependent, but just sitting down for that long for something that isn't guaranteed. Doing stage two is just fine though. I'm got more than happy to do stage two, but it's the thing where you get the most of them from that third stage, the three extra orbs. I could probably have a whole lot more demon holy relics built. I, I have 60 of the difficult materials to get, so I can go ahead and make two more if I really wanted to, but I'm waiting for some of those cooler releases. Mon Speed, Assault Melee, Trader Melee, whenever that eventually happens. Don't, I would not say to expect that anytime soon. A lot of SRs here, high chance for a fake out. That's that's Summer Merlin, which I believe is 3 or 4, 6, so 100% taking out. And no fake outs, wow. Yeah, this is definitely a good battle. Although so many people are calling this Merlin mid, which is so unfortunate, because I was really hoping it'd be another blue Merlin, and she'd be an insanely good counter for the Barn team, but that just didn't seem to happen. I'm actually hating the Barn team. Yo, let's go. This is actually... Hold on. A banner actually going good for me? This is not heard of. See how we go on the gem side of things now. I get to get, get a couple of the tickets right before we start recording, just doing all of the event missions, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, a whole lot of people calling the melon mid. I just go with I mean, we'll take it. It's a festival coin. Uh, I've been absolutely hating the barn team as of recent. Man, Ryan Hart, it is such garbage. And I actually went ahead and recorded a pretty much an entire video showcasing the Brown Hall team, which is an extremely comp. Are you kidding me right now? We have gotten three Tarmiels in 450 gems. This is wild. Holy man, this could not be going better right now. But yeah, I did a whole video on Brunhold and was just complaining about the Barn Team, or more sharing my opinions on the Barn Team, I'd like to word it. But the audio was completely deleted by the time I finished the recording, so at that point, although I was just mad, because I think we did six matches in that video, and five out of six of them were barn teams, and I think I only beat one of the barn teams. Once again, the Brunhold team being probably the team with the greatest turn one kill potential in the game. Obviously, the Demon team has the highest damage potential, having characters like Esterosa hit a million off a single target level one. That's that's absurdity. But yeah, I just can't stand that team at this point. You get through one of the units, you get through Arthur's stance, and then by the time you've gotten through that, it usually takes around two turns. One of the other two has an ultimate, but you kill Arthur, then Twiggo comes to the front with a taunt. You have to break three's taunt, and not a whole lot of teams have alt control, or at least the team I like to use doesn't have alt control. 
And then they get off their ultimate and Reinhardt and Balan are both instantly one-tapping no matter what the team. A lot of the times as well, you can have Reinhardt and he simply has immortality and you can't do anything about it, so... Oh well, man, it's... And I even saw Rigatoni make a video, I think it was yesterday, talking about the Balan team and how he thinks it's a mistake. I mean, I'm sure a whole lot of people share my same view, but the team is an absolute mistake, man. I remember when the Bond released, and I was so happy that we got such a good character and such a character that looked like he was going to last long in the meta. That's, I mean, he's my favorite Sin, and especially before Purgatory Barn, we literally never had a good Barn on Global. The Nunchuck Barn kind of meta didn't last long enough for it to actually be a thing, so there was no point really building him. And yeah, other than that, we've literally had almost zero Barns, so... Man, that team. We just need to get rid of Ryan Hogg. Come on, can we get Merlin? I'd love to see the animation. Here's the green Merlin. We can take dupes of that as well. Damn, the tickets were a whole lot luckier than these gems. God damn. Two thirds of our way through the summons now. I flash. Do we call Red Tommy all right here? I Jack Gotha. That's all right. So what does that take our DN to? I believe the DN is three six now. Another one of those green melons. I would love to see the actual animation for it in this video, so it'd be unfortunate, but it wouldn't be very <laughs> it wouldn't be very unlike us to not get a single copy throughout the whole 900. So yeah, Amazing got his first copy, I think at 270, which is super early. Not me, of course. God damn. I've been running super low on Arquins as well, so maybe going a second rotation in the banner wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I've been using a crazy amount of them on the like the green orbs that you use for the SP dungeon. Just doing that and then autoing through all of them in order to get SSR pendants, because still by far the hardest thing to get in this game. Once you get all your characters done, it almost seem like they're worthless, you just have an abundance of them, but that's going to take quite some time. And especially now that you have to make UR pendants and the SR characters need SSR characters, or SSR pendants, sorry, to go to level 100. It's a lot of investment. Quite some time before I get that. And JP's had a whole lot more time. Remember, they were getting banners every two weeks instead of every one at one point. SSR's pretty late in the end of this one. But yeah, so they'll still take some time. And then grinding up the demons as well is a whole nother thing. Even people like Chicksua who have, what, 14 million, 13 million box CC? I think it's 13 million. Uh, still haven't got the whole box level 100, so definitely not something to be expecting super soon. Yeah, I feel like we get a whole lot of this guy. Skip that one. I actually did a video as well where I used a whole bunch of SSR pendants. I was going to use them regardless, but I don't know where the file went for that one either. I think I might have accidentally deleted it. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, back-to-back -back SSRs. Yeah, I think it was 30 or 40 SSR pendants and ended up getting double green Cyril. And I was really hoping for red Tarmiel as well, but I mean, the fact that we've got three of them, wow, that puts us to puts us to 5-6. If we could finish off that final alt level in this summon here as well, that'd be net marble, surely. Surely we can call a double SSR here. Would go kind of hard. Let's see it. I was hoping that one would be. That's all right. Yeah, 5-6 Tarmiel. I mean, that enough is walking away from these someone's so happy. We haven't got any characters like Yulman Gander, or a crazy amount of characters that we've already got 6-6, six, six, so that's absolutely great. With this update as well, I found like there was not a lot of content. I had a look. Oh, there we go. That's our that's our sixth copy of Freya that we needed. Perfect. Damn, these summons too fire right now. Uh, yeah, we only really got the Giant Hawk, which isn't the most difficult content in the game. Uh, Net Marble developers kind of just recycling the same bosses because everyone's doing Origin stuff, which is also exciting because it means they're obviously putting a lot of effort, a lot of work into the game. Kind of wait for that to release as well. I'll definitely have to be doing content on Origin, especially because I'll still try and keep up the daily GC videos, but especially like during release on that, I want to try and get out as many videos as possible. Maybe even take a week or two off work during the release because that's obviously going to be prime time to, you know, getting guides, all that kind of stuff out. Here we go. I think this is first or second again. But yeah, we'll see what the game's like. Huge, huge expectations, which may make things a little worse for me. Another Summer Merlin. Let's go, man. Eating up all of these dupes for all these OP characters. Because she is a character I absolutely adore using. Although she's such a toxic character, by far one of my favourites. And it's crazy how much I love a character like that, but also hate the side of the Blue Goddess Liz. Back to just getting insane amounts of SSRs. Let's go, man. Doubling up on the SSR animations. 
But yeah, we got the giant hawk event, which is what, probably like three, five times a day. And then a kind of like a card event. But I was looking through it and I was surely we get more for 50 million downloads. I think that's what we're at at the moment. 50 million download celebration. I don't know, I think it happened with the collaboration as well. We ended up getting a whole lot more content in the second part of the update. So it could be the same for this one here. I think the Japanese version is just about to push into that second part of the update. And a whole lot of people talking about us maybe getting another unknown character soon to make Merlin look just that little bit better. I'd really like that to be the case because what Rimuru, this new Merlin, like I was talking about before, there's a whole lot of really interesting and really fun unknown characters. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, man. Was there an SSR in this one, or am I, am I going crazy? Got the boy Ruin. I need to just end up making all of the Holy Relics for the SR and R characters, because I only just realized that you didn't need some of those harder materials to get, so just free CC. Man, we are getting an insane, a crazy amount of this Gotha. I think that's the third hijack Gotha. Could you imagine if they're all Merlins? I mean, they've got the exact same rate, so why couldn't it be? I think they have the same rate. Oh, I should probably go check that. Watch this, 3%? Oh, 4%. Yeah, they've all got rate up. I haven't got any of her, which I'm very grateful for. <laughs> so how many more? We've only got a couple more of these until we're done. Sun in the sky? Hold up, watch me, watch me skip this, and this will be the one that we get Merlin. The wrong Merlin. Oh, yo, but we got a Tarmiel. Let's go, man. I'm... S that is... That is fire right there. Holy... 6-6 six, six, Tarmiel. You've got four Tarmiels. In this, I mean, I was talking earlier about getting, us getting time meals probably being more worth it than getting the melons, and I will 100% stand by that. Hold on, melon. No, now we're getting no, now we're wasting time meal dupes. I can't be doing this. Grand Cross, stop. No more. <laughs> oh, let's just be another time meal. Yo, Captain Meliodas, let's go. 2 6. 2 6, baby. Onto our final two summons here. Do we get another SSR, please? No way do we really go through 900 gems. This is why I love Grand Cross, because if you end up whaling or putting enough, or saving enough gems, you end up getting the Aeonet guaranteed, which is why I can be so scared to summon in Dokkan. And I'm very glad that I won and done the most recent unit, because I have gone hundreds. Very, don't want to do that. Mage of Infinity, Merlin, there we go. And then hopefully with this character being released and all the extra dupes we've gotten, the final constellation can get done. I'll see if I can level up the box just that little bit more, but... Look at that, so good down close. Just need to do this final node, and then we've got that one done. That is going to help out so many team showcases, all that kind of stuff. But there we go. That is about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you guys are summoning, really, really hope you get all the time heals, Freyas, and Melons that you need. But that is about does it for today's video. And I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.